Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! Today's letter is the letter U. U is for upside down cake. So today I'm going to show you how to draw this pineapple upside down cake with a cute little pineapple. So let's begin! This is what you'll need for today's drawing. You're going to need a piece of paper. I have a dollar store drawing pad that's eight and a half by 11 inches wide. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser. If you have an old paintbrush lying around that you have not used for painting, it comes in really handy for wiping off the dust and the eraser bits from your page. And we're going to need a little bit of color today. For the pineapple, we are going to need a couple of greens. If you only have one green, that's okay. I'm using markers today. I've got a light green and kind of a dark green. I also have a yellow. I have a red. I have an orange. And I have my black fine tip marker. Now, fine tip just means that the tip is thin because I use that for outlining. And if you follow my channel, you already know that. <laughs> We're also going to use a brown coloring pencil, okay? So that's what you need. I'm going to clear off my canvas and we can begin. Now I'm going to admit it to you, my friends, I had a heck of a time trying to figure out what food starts with the letter U. I couldn't figure it out. I know there's something called an ugly fruit or an ugly fruit, but I didn't know how to draw it. So I, then I thought, oh my goodness, I used to make upside down pineapple cake. So why don't we do that? U is for upside down cake. <laughs> so let's start by drawing a capital U and a small U. Now we're gonna write upside down cake. So it's three words. First, we're gonna do upside with a capital U. We've got a P, we have an S, we have an I, we have a D, and we have an E, upside. Now let's spell down with a capital D, O, W, N, upside down. Now let's spell cake with a capital C, an A, a K, and an E. So U is for upside down cake. <laughs> All right, let's start by taking out our pencil and we're going to draw a little piece of cake and a pineapple since I've decided today's cake is gonna be a pineapple upside down cake. All right. Now the first thing I want you to do is draw a little line like this. Not too big because we're going to focus on the pineapple, not the piece of cake. All right. And then we want to do kind of a slanty line and then another line down and then a slanty line kind of to meet that. And we're going to do a bit of a triangle here a triangle like this and then we're going to join it to the bottom here. That's our piece of cake. And on the top we can draw a couple of pineapple pieces. Let's draw some circles. One circle here and maybe part of a circle here because it looks like somebody cut into that cake. And inside the cake there's a cherry. A red cherry. Not inside the cake, inside of the pineapple there's a cherry. We're gonna leave that as is for now, and we're gonna draw our pineapple. Now, the pineapple has long leaves, so just make sure you kind of figure the leaf is gonna go up to here, and maybe we can start the pineapple here, okay? Because we've got a lot of leaves on this pineapple. Now, let's draw the pineapple first. Kind of an oval. But at the bottom, it has a bit of a rounded bottom. So it kind of looks like an egg, but not completely. Now for the leaves, we're going to draw it like this. They're big leaves. They go like this. There. 
there we go. So the leaves are almost the same size as the pineapple. That's interesting. Now what we're going to do for the pineapple is, first thing we're going to do is draw some eyes and we're going to make, it looks like she, it's, this should be a she today. <laughs> so let's draw some big oval eyes. But first we're just going to do the oval. We're not going to do the inside just yet. And we're going to give her a big smile. Because what we have to do right now is we have to draw some crisscrosses on the pineapple. So I want you to have a very light touch because what I'm going to do every time I use marker is I draw in pencil and then I outline in marker. I let my marker dry and then I erase all of my pencil marks. Okay, so what we're going to do is watch what I'm doing. We have to put some crisscrosses across the pineapple and we're going to put them through her eyes for now just so we know what we're doing and through her mouth just for now and use a light touch here so it'll be easy to erase. Okay, and we're gonna go and do it the other way to make the crisscross. There we go. Now what we can do right now is erase everything inside her eyes and everything inside of her mouth, okay? And if you accidentally erase anything you didn't want to, all you have to do is just draw it back in, okay? Like I erased some of her eye there. I'll take my pencil and I'll just draw it back in. Same thing, if you erased some of those lines, just draw them back in. I think it's easier to draw it through her eyes and through her mouth and erase rather than trying to go whoop, whoop. <laughs> you know what I mean? So don't forget to erase those lines inside of her mouth. And like I said, you can redraw her mouth or any line that you accidentally erased. All right, how are you guys doing? Does that make sense to you? Okay, let's draw some ovals inside the bottom of her eye. Those will be her pupils. Let's draw those right away. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start outlining. I'm redrawing everything that I drew with pencil and I'm outlining it with my black marker here. And because I'm erasing, I'm not paying too much attention to my pencil marks because I know I'm going to be erasing them. But if you choose not to erase them, then try to be careful to follow all of your pencil marks, okay? Have you guys ever had an upside down cake? Which one was it? The most popular one I think is the pineapple upside down cake. I'm going to show you a picture of one that I made one time. Doesn't that look delicious? With the pineapples and the cherries and the top is like, I think it's brown sugar on top. That's why it's nice and dark. It's so good. So as you can see, I'm not following the lines too much because like I said, I'm erasing my pencil marks. So I don't mind if I'm not doing it perfectly. Now, when it comes to outlining the pineapple on the inside, just follow the lines. Don't draw anything inside the eyes or inside the mouth. Just follow the lines that you drew, like that, like that. You see what I mean? Don't go right through the eyes. That's why we erased, so that we could have guiding lines, so we know where not to put our lines, right? Now, if you're using marker, and I've said this in other videos before, 
make sure you know your marker. You need to know how long it needs to dry before you can start erasing. Because if you start erasing while your marker is wet, everything is going to smudge. And you're going to get it everywhere and it's going to look really dirty. So if you need to test your marker, just take another piece of paper, do a little drawing on it, and then see. You can take your finger, it might get messy, and look at your finger. If it's black or whatever color you're using, it's not ready to erase yet, it's still wet. So just give it a little more time and get to know your markers. I know my markers are dry right now, so I can start erasing. And I'm going to erase very, very gently. Because even though my marker is dry, if I press down too hard, I could really smudge if I press down too hard. So I'm just very lightly erasing. Let me wipe some of that eraser stuff off. And the whole pineapple, I'm erasing all of those pencil marks. I've mentioned this in videos before. When I use markers and pencils together, I don't like keeping the pencils because I find when I start putting color in with markers, especially the light colors, like yellow and orange, it tends to make it look dirty. You know, the yellow and the pencil get mixed together and it makes it look dirty. So I don't like using pencil and marker together. I prefer to just erase all of the pencil. It's an extra step, but I think it makes the colors nicer. All right, now we can start adding some color. Why don't we start with our piece of cake here? Let's take the red Sharpie, and if you're using Sharpies or any marker, put a scrap piece of paper underneath because it can go through the paper. And if you're on your table directly, you don't want your marker to go onto your table, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting red in where the cherries are. Okay, and now I'm going to take my yellow and color in the pineapples. We'll add some detail later. There we go. While we have our yellow out, Let's fill in this entire area with yellow. Up here we're going to put the brown pencil, but right down here we're going to fill it in with yellow. said this before too, I do not like the way Sharpies smell. P.U. <laughs> they have nice colors, but boy do they stink. Okay, now I'm just going to grab my brown pencil and I'm going to fill in the cake on top and I'm being careful not to get that brown into the pineapples or into this part of the actually it doesn't matter we're going to put some brown in there too but just try not to get the brown into the pineapples you could use a marker for this part if you want but I'm using a pencil because I'll be using it for the bottom of the cake too All right, we've got the top of the cake done. I'm just using, I'm, I might color it in a second time actually. And if you do follow my channel and you watch my drawing lessons, putting in a second layer of color means you're coloring it in twice. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm adding a second layer of brown. That means I'm coloring it in twice. And if you wanted it to be darker, you could put in a third layer. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my brown pencil and I'm just going to very gently put in 
some brown. I don't want to cover the yellow. Just want to put in a little bit of brown there. Just so the yellow is a different color than the pineapple, you see? Just very lightly, and it's not covering the yellow. That's what I want. There we go. There's our piece of cake, done. So let's work on our pineapple. Why don't we start with the leaves? Now I've got two different shades of green. I've got a light green and a dark green. And I'm gonna make each pineapple leaf a different shade. So I'm gonna start with the light green. And I'm gonna make this one, this one, and this one light green. And the other three are gonna be dark green, okay? So here I go. Just gonna fill that in with that light green color. Now, if you're using a coloring pencil or a crayon, you can do one layer and then add another layer to make it a nicer vibrant green and remember what a layer is you're coloring in once that's your first layer and then if you go back and color the same spot twice that's your second layer and if you're using coloring pencils you don't have to press hard at all that's why you do layers with marker, we don't need to do layers because the color is very vibrant. All right, I've got those three done. I'm gonna take my other shade of green and color in the other three. It's a darker green. But like I've said before, if you only have one green marker or one green crayon or one green pencil, you can make the whole thing the same color green. I just like putting different colors because I think it makes it look more interesting. Pee oof. Sharpie stinky. <laughs> Sharpie markers are stinky. <laughs> oh boy, I don't like this smell. Do you guys know what I mean? Are you using Sharpies? Like, do you know what I mean by that yucky smell it has? I have other markers that don't smell like this. I just love the colors of the Sharpie. All right, so I've got one more to do, one more leaf here. Then I can work on the pineapple itself and the fruit. I don't know if you noticed, but my lights are flickering a little bit. I try to plug those in better. So we've got all the leaves done. Let's work on the pineapple. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll take my red marker first and I'm gonna fill in her mouth with red. There, just like that. Now, I've got an orange marker here. I couldn't find my orange orange Sharpie. That's why I took this little other marker here. I think this is a dollar store marker. And I'm gonna fill in orange everywhere on the pineapple, except for the mouth and the eyes. All right, so I'm gonna be really careful here. And I don't, like using this particular marker when I have black marker already down because I find that it all smudges together. But we're going to add some brown like we did here. We're going to add some of that brown 
black mar um, brown coloring pencil so I don't mind if it looks a little dirty right now because we are going to add brown but this particular marker the dollar store marker it doesn't work very well with other black markers like I said it, it kind of smudges everywhere and it pulls the black in and see it just pulled some of that green in but like I said for this drawing today it's no big deal because we are going to cover this pineapple with brown coloring pencil so it'll kind of hide that dirty orange black <laughs> look that's happening here and what you can always do is you can grab a piece of scrap paper and just go like this try to get the black off it if that's what's happening with your marker too but like I said, for this drawing, it doesn't really matter. But if you wanted to keep it a really nice, bright orange, you might have to put the black marker on after. But that would be hard because we had to erase our pencil marks. So we just work with what we have, right? I want you guys to have fun today and not worry about the little nitty-gritty details <laughs> let me worry about that just enjoy yourself today have some cake <laughs> I don't know but you see what I mean it kind of the black kind of bleeds into the orange a bit it's just this marker that does that if I had a Sharpie, it wouldn't have done that because you see here with the yellow, it didn't do that or the green. Just this particular marker. Okay, so I'm done with my pineapple here wipe off my little orange marker there. Now I'm going to grab that brown coloring pencil and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to put a little light layer of brown being careful not to get it into her eyes or into her mouth. Because if you look at a pineapple, the skin of the pineapple or the rind or the peel, whatever, you, whatever it's called, it's not orange, it's not yellow, and it's not completely brown. There are shades of different colors in it. So I figured, well, you know what? Orange and brown, that looks close to what it's supposed to look like. So you see what I did? I just added a layer of brown, and it, it just changes the color up a little bit. I'm going to add a second layer, but I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want to erase the orange. I just want it to be a little darker. And you can do that. You can mix markers and crayons and coloring pencils. You don't always have to, if you start with a marker, you don't always have to keep using a marker for the drawing. You can mix it up. That's what's called mixed media. If you use different types of things, pencils and paints and markers and crayons, it's not all one thing. So they call it mixed media art. See how different the color is? So now let's take our black and we'll fill in her pupils. We'll add a little detail too. First we'll fill in her pupils to make her eyes nice and big. big eyes there. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of detail. On the pineapples, watch what I'm doing. I'm putting little lines like this because if you ever see a pineapple slice, it has those little kind of lines around it, right? So I'm going to do that on the other pineapple too.
just a little detail there. And I'm going to give her some eyelashes. She's a happy pineapple. And some eyebrows. Okay. And I think I'm going to give her some cheeks. Now, if you want it to make it, you want to make it look like cheeks, cheeks. <laughs> I'm having a hard time saying my words here. At the edge of her mouth, you put little semicircles like that, and it makes it look like she's got cheeks. So there you go, my friends. How you doing? Did you finish up? Do you like what you drew? I really like what I drew. I think she looks really cute. So don't forget to sign your work. Always take ownership of the beautiful work of art that you just created. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends. And remember, Mom and Dad, if you post your kids' art on Instagram, please don't forget to tag me. The link is in the description below or in the About section of my channel. So we'll see you next time on Alphabet Soup. Thanks for watching. Bye!